You've got to stay back! Hey, look! We gotta help that kid! Hang on. The fire department's got it covered. Besides, we'd get spotted. But we could... Don't worry, Mikey. It's covered. But what if they can't get her in time? Then he will. Sentry! Mommy! Daddy! My baby! Oh, you're safe. Stand back! Sentry. And you are? Michael. I mean, Turtle Titan. I'm a superhero. Just like you. Well, obviously not just like you, but I mean, I've always admired your work. Uh-huh. The first night on the job, eh? Is it that obvious? Listen, uh, Turtle Titan, is it? I admire your good intentions, but this is a dangerous occupation. If you're not careful, someone's gonna get hurt. Most likely you. <gasps> you might want to call it a night. Wait! You need to see this. Someone's been controlling people with these things, making them do crazy stuff. Hmm. Looks like the work of my arch nemesis, Dr. Malignus. You may have disabled it, but it's still receiving a control signal. originating from that warehouse. Let's go. Are you all right? Sorry. This is a first for me. First time flying? First superhero team up. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you said the bad guy's warehouse was in the other direction. Let's get one thing straight, Turtle Titan. There will be no superhero team up tonight. But... You've got a lot of heart, kid, and I appreciate the help, but you're in way over your head. You need to keep yourself safe and out of sight while I deal with Malignus. You don't understand! I took this gig so I wouldn't have to hide in the shadows! Ah, uh, what does he know? What have you done with Silver Sentry? Why, he's right here. Oh, there you are. Had me worried for a sec. Did I mention he's completely under my control? No. Yes. Silver Sentry is my slave to do all my villainous bidding. Your hero is now powerless to stop himself from becoming the very thing he despises the most, a super villain. And your first villainous task, my super puppet, destroy Turtle Titan. <laughs> Silver Sentry, you don't really want to hurt me. That's the beauty of my plan. He doesn't want to hurt you, but he can't stop himself. Then it's up to me to stop him. Right, what was I thinking? Oh, something. 
this pest. Splinter was right. Again. Maybe it's time to get back to basics. Ninja Turtle style! Titan, you've earned your superhero team-up. It's over, Malignus. You've lost. Only this round, Sentry. The game will continue. <laughs> Thanks for the help. You're welcome to team up with me anytime, Turtle Titan. The name's Michelangelo. And from now on, I'll leave the limelight to guys like you. I can do a lot more good for this town in the shadows. At a Brooklyn warehouse where the Silver Sentry has defeated and captured the criminal mastermind known as Dr. Malignus. Any comments on the incident, Silver Sentry? I just want to say I couldn't have done it without the help of my new friend and ally, Turtle Titan. General Genocide's malevolent mechanical marauders are no match for the Justice Horse. I'll make fast work of these lumbering tin cans, or my name's not Sippy Lad. You rusted ruffians should know better than to tangle with Joey Elastic and Metalhead. It feels so strange to be back with the team after being gone for so long. I just don't know if I can do this. Stainless Steve still keeps me at a distance. He only ever sees me as Batman Bernice. But we could be so much more. And even though Dr. Dome still has feelings for me, he'd never forgive me if he knew my secret. Steve! Dome! Look out! Bernice! No! I have to get this. Weird looking dude. Even for this room. Sorry, friend. Justice Force number 137 doesn't exist. No way! I gotta know what happened to battling Bernice! She didn't make it. What? How do you know? I remember like it was yesterday. She sacrificed herself to save Dr. Dome and Stainless Steve. The Justice Force disbanded shortly after that. Boy, this guy takes this stuff seriously. <laughs> Yo, dude, stand back. Little guy like you could get hurt. Get off me, you little tin cans. Your metalhead! Then the Justice Force is real? Ah! Real as the steel saucer on my noggin. Oh, and you're the real stainless Steve Steel! Mm hmm. And those are real domoids. <laughs> I strained something. Metalhead, no! Who could have done?
done this? Only one fella I know with the brain power to run those domoids. And that's old Doc Dome himself. But wasn't he one of the Justice Force too? Doc Dome's always blamed the rest of us for the demise of battling Bernice. It was only a matter of time before his hatred turned to madness and revenge. The Justice Force emergency signal? Been carrying this around for almost 40 years. I never thought I'd have to use it again. I can't believe Dr. Dome would turn evil. Uh, ooh, you can't ignore the facts, Mikey. You'd be amazed at what he can ignore. Uh, Steve? You leave your door open? just like you. Right here, fellas. I just need to uh, stretch out is all. Did someone say stretch? <laughs> What's the matter, Pops? Not as Joey elastic as you used to be? I'll retract eventually. Just takes a little longer than it used to. Are these guys awesome or what? It's like we're a part of history. Yeah, ancient history. <laughs> Nothing like a super speed massage to work the cakes out of your back. Thanks, Zippy. I feel decades younger. Now we need to figure out how we're gonna stop Doc Dome. Ah, there it is. I've been wondering, why did Battling Bernice quit the team for a year? She never said. But I always suspected it had something to do with Doc Dome. Guys, something's on the roof. Now this is more like it. Your massage did wonders, Zippy. Fastest hands in the West. Speaking of which... What the... Hey! Let me down! Zippy! Uh, oh no! Zippy! Joey! Whoa, that's one mighty big dome. That's Doc Dome's fortress. Look at all those domoids. We're in luck. Doc Dome isn't controlling them right now. See those flashing blips in their domes? That means they're in automated defense mode. They'll attack anything that moves that doesn't give off one of those signals. Then we'll just have to give off one of those signals. <laughs> if we get our heads bashed in by a hundred domoids. Metalhead! Doc Dome will pay for this. Now let's not jump to conclusions. I've read too many comic book stories where things are never what they seem. Cool! Doc Dome! Surrender! 
stainless Steve. You and your reptile flunkies may have succeeded in kidnapping the others, but you won't get Dr. Dome without a fight. You dare accuse us of your twisted scheme, Dr. Dome? This is your lab. These are your domoids. If you won't admit your treachery, then perhaps your captives will. Dream. Dr. Dome! You traitor! What? No! He's the traitor! Can't you see he's trying to frame me? Impossible! Only you could have unleashed those domoids! They only respond to your telepathic commands! I haven't used the domoids in years! All that mental control was giving me super migraines! And isn't it convenient that you were present for all the kidnappings, yet you yourself were never kidnapped? Yeah, why is that, Steve? Guys, you... you don't really think... You could never hide your jealousy! You couldn't stand the fact that battling Bernice loved me and not you! Are you out of your glass-encased mind? Battling Bernice couldn't stand you! She quit the team for a year just to get away from you! Don't you ever say her name. Guys, stop! Your friends, teammates, remember? Who saved you from the living volcano? And who cured you of that creeping alien rust? Now, what do you say we work together like the Justice Force and find out who's really behind this? Aha! The Domoids only glow like that when he's mentally controlling them. Let's put a stop to this now! Alright, Crystal Ball! Call off your attack bots! But I tell you, I'm not controlling them! If I was, then my dome head would be red too! If you're not controlling them, then who is? I am. <gasps> Battling Bernice? Alive? How's that possible? Nobody stays dead for very long in comic books. Look closer, Dome. What do you see? I see the woman I love. And just as... young? You should be older. You're not battling Bernice. That's right. I'm her daughter, Ananda. You're lying. I would have known if Bernice had a daughter. She didn't want anyone to know. That's why she quit the team when she did. But you pulled her back in. All of you. And now I will have my revenge on those who took my mother away from me. <laughs> not so fast, lady. But how are you able to control all my robots? I thought you would have figured that one out by now, Daddy. <laughs> That's right. I inherited all of your mental powers. I took control of your lab and your domoids, and abducted your teammates, knowing everyone would blame you for the kidnappings. Nothing would have been more satisfying to me than watching you all destroy each other. But now I'll just have to destroy you all myself. <laughs> Oh, no you don't! 
face it, Daddy. You're old and you're weak. <laughs> Everyone, concentrate your attack on Amanda! There's too many of them. We can't even get close to her. No! Wait! Don't concentrate your attack! Split her focus in as many directions as possible! Mikey, are you sure? Trust me! Let me help you, daughter. Ananda, look at me. No one forced your mother back into the Justice Force. She chose this life, and she chose to give her life to save others. But you still have one parent who's very much alive, and wants to be a part of your life. I can't thank you fellas enough for your help. This could have easily ended in tragedy, but it looks like things will turn out okay. Thanks to this young whippersnapper. How do you ever come up with such a clever strategy? Don't you remember? That's how you defeated the Grim Repo in issue 57, when he took possession of Dr. Dome's brain. Well, what do you know? Mikey's comic book geekdom turned out to be good for something. Hey, Mikey. Official Justice Force Super Secret Signal Device? Consider yourself an honorary Justice Force member. Awesome! Yahoo! Now that's a satisfying ending. Sorry about the blindfolds, folks. Matt is the security and all that jazz. You know, I can see through this blindfold with my X-ray vision, right? Just play along, will ya? It's from Master Splinter. He's got this thing about letting people know where we live. Merry Christmas, everybody. So, where's my sidekick? Where's the Turtle Titan? I thought Michelangelo would be here. Yeah, so do we. Uh, don't worry, he'll be here any minute. Forgive me, Mr. Jones. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yeah! Yo, April, give it up, will ya? Raph and I couldn't beat him. There's no way you... <laughs> oh! You were saying, Casey Jones? Thanks. I think they fell for it. My pleasure. And, as promised, your reward. Actually, the look on those guys' faces was reward enough. Okay. I'll just give three dozen of my famous double chocolate cookies to the guys, then. No, no, I didn't mean that. I'll take them. I love cookies. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. All right, we'll give Mikey another five minutes, but that's it. The food's getting cold. Agreed. Mikey, where have you been? 
Our guests have been waiting. It is very rude. I know, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna believe what happened. Mikey, we don't want to hear some lame story. Uh, 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 Raph. Remember, this is supposed to be a season of giving. Yeah, and I'm thinking about giving you a well-seasoned smack upside the head. Guys, it's Christmas Eve. It's a time to remember those less fortunate than ourselves. In fact, it's a time not to think of ourselves at all. And I have just the ticket. Season of giving. Happy holidays, everybody! Ananda, I just received official word. It's up to us now. I have Metalhead, and I managed to get Tsunami from Japan and Chrysalis from India to help. Let's make this the Justice Force's finest hour. <laughs> This force has been defeated. And some good news! The Justice Force is back in action, helping clean up crews all over the city. Hey! It's my pal, Silver Sentry! You go, Super Dude! You... Just be a glimmer of hope for a lost city. I'm the guy the cops would thank if they knew I existed, but they don't. Who am I? I'm nobody. Hey, check it out. Whoa! Cape, mask, dark brooding presence. Gotta be a superhero! Or some wacko. Come on.
being followed by some clown in a cape. Not for long, we ain't. <laughs> the shots why'd you risk your life for us it's not your fight and that truck i need to know where it's going is it that important right now following that truck means everything to me you really ought to call in some backup i can't this one's personal Check back, you check top. All clear, send them through! Some costume vigilante's been nosing around my plant. I've had to take precautions. Ruffington. End of the line for you, pal. Hands behind your head and turn around. Just us. Not that I don't appreciate the assist, but what are you two doing here? Michelangelo and I figured you might come here. Hey, roaming the city at night, I'm sure you've heard of another mighty superhero. Mikey? He's really good. Great, actually. Goes by the name of Turtle Titan! No, sorry. Mikey, take that stuff off. He gets to wear his outfit. Michelangelo? Uh, all right. Hardy pooper. Can you handle this problem or not? That voice sounds familiar. We're not going to tolerate any more delays. You had better get it together, Ruffington. Hun! Don't get your biceps in a bunch. The other shipments will be arriving soon. You have until dawn to finish loading our barge. Do not disappoint us. If Hun's involved, that means the Shredder is too. The Shredder? Oroku Saki, the current savior of New York. Yeah, and who's the dweeb in the vest? His name's Ruffington. He and I go way back. Back when I used to be a New York City detective. He claims you're still harassing him. Ruffington's dirty. You know he is. He's also powerful. You don't get to be the government's leading weapon supplier without making influential friends. He's also selling to the black market. Let me prove it. Too late. He's thrown his weight around, so as of today, you're off the street and reassigned to the archives. Overzealous cop reprimanded? 
Say goodbye to the man who just put your career on the skids. Burying me in the department wasn't enough. Ruffington had to destroy my life, my reputation, and my honor. I intend to get it all back. Count us in. Cannon, but it looks like Ruffington's made a few modifications. And he's selling these things on the street? How difficult is it to operate? Easy! Just... <laughs> What's with the costume freaks around here? Take them out! Helicopter ready. Ruffington! Ruffington! You won't escape me that easily, you worm! Tonight, Ruffington! Who are you? Thanks to the politicians in your pocket, I'm nobody. Then you won't be missed. <laughs>
Long have I watched over the world of man, and I have been sickened by the ruthless acts of a soulless few. But through it all, I have learned more of who I am. Some call me hunter. Some call me protector. Whatever I am called, I have vowed to be this world's guardian angel. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to... A dark and moody Leo. What the show was that? This ends now, Mephos! I think not, Raptor. Living amongst these apes has made you weak! No, my old friend. Living down here has only made me realize that much more. How wrong you have always been! So, who do we help? We're gods among insects. You always refuse to see that. That guy certainly doesn't sound too friendly. <laughs> Your lack of vision will be your downfall, old friend! And right now, he needs my help! This is so cool! <gasps> and now... It's time to see how you like life without your wings, old friend. Turtle Titan <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> Mikey, we'll give you a hand. No need. Turtle Titan has everything under control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mikey, no! Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> Mikey! Oh, no! <gasps> So foolish. What the shell? Uh. Uh. Not again! Uh. Uh. Are you okay? I think... I think so. They made it! Where'd the other one go? Oh, yeah. Mikey, look out! Last, the diadem. You will not need this anymore, Raptor. And now, to put a long overdue end to our friendship. Bring it, Flyboy! If you got the guts! Foul creatures. Go crawl back into whatever swamp vomited you forth. I have what I need for now. So what do we do about this guy? <sighs> he is regaining consciousness. Where am I? This place, it is an Olympian stronghold. Yeah, well, that's a long story. You're the guy that papers call the Guardian Angel. I've got all the clippings. You're famous. You have damaged one of your wings. Do not move. Ah! It is much better. I simply manipulated pressure points in your shoulder to redirect the flow of chi in your wing. Thank you. I... Mephos. The diadem. Where is it? Uh, if you mean your headband, that guy with the metal wings took it. No! It will spell the downfall of my people. With it, Mephos will spark a new civil war. Countless innocent lives will perish. Don't sweat it, Mr. Guardian Angel, sir. We'll just kick Tin Wing's butt and get your diadem thingy back. 
I cannot ask you to help. I am already in your debt. And where I come from, that is no small thing. And you saved Mikey. We take that pretty seriously, too. We'll help you, but we need to know everything. Very well. My name is Raptar. I am an avian. I knew it! We were a race of beings, created as slaves by the ancient Olintians many eons ago. Yalintia was a world of wonders. Through the limitless power of their crystal sun, the Olintians had built a utopian society far ahead of its time, but it had its dark side. We avians were treated like animals by our cruel Olintian taskmasters. We were worked like slaves to build their paradise, then forced to live apart in a floating cage, so we would not befoul their precious city with our inferior presence. Then, one day, there was war. The outside world had had enough of Olintia's iron-fisted rule. And so had we. The slaves of Olintia united against our cruel slave masters. The rebellion raged! Irony of ironies. It was our birdcage prison that in the end saved us all. My ancestors managed to free it from its tether as Olintia finally sank beneath the waves. Salvaging precious fragments of the Olintian crystal sun, the avians combined the shards into an incredibly powerful energy core. Powerful enough to keep our floating area locked forever. Their prison had been transformed into a home. My people were free. For centuries, we avians kept ourselves cut off from the outside world. But there were those who believed we were destined to rule over the surface world, not to hide from it. The leader of this movement was my best friend and comrade, Mephos. Attack! He led his followers in a revolt that pitted avian against avian, brother against brother. <laughs> ended with Mephos' capture. For his crimes against our people, the Avian Council sentenced Mephos to be exiled to the surface world for all time, his wings taken from him. No. No! No! I stayed on the surface world to watch Mephos and to stop his attempts to return to the Avian city. Living here, in your world, I have learned much, and have been able to help those in need. And I have stopped Mephos' plan several times. But now, with my diadem, he will be able to find the avian city and enter it unopposed. The surface world is doomed. Imagine a floating city that can only be detected by a crystal diadem. The immense power of the crystal energy core makes the avian city an unspeakable weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> And soon it will be Mephos' to command. Donnie, we going or what? We're going. Prepare to be amazed. Tech pack thingies? But we still have a problem. Without a crystal diadem, we won't be able to find the city. But your home is an Olintian outpost. Surely there must be Olintian power crystals here. Um, we kind of used them all to help some of our friends. It's a really long story. What of the memory crystal? Let us see. Here. It is still here. Perfect. These will do. Whoa! Where'd that come from? I thought I scanned the whole layer from top to bottom for crystals. How? It's an avian thing. Your hospitality has been most generous. Thank you, Splinter.
Remember the plan. Mifos' dire focus should be his own undoing. One question. Are we there yet? Actually, yes. Wow. You said it, Mikey. Now, we should destroy one of the surface crawler cities. Let's say... Seattle. I think not, Mifos. Uh. Remember us? Well, now we got wings! Destroy them! of land and sky join with you you are mad you'll lose more than your wings this time mifos <laughs> 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 then you will have to perish i see that wing just hasn't had time to heal has it <laughs> this was your big plan raptor fly in here and be defeated by me pathetic Actually, the plan was that I'd distract you long enough to allow my friends time to take the key crystal. And it seems to have worked. Thank you for your help. You saved our city. We owe you a great debt of gratitude. You know, maybe someday our worlds could, you know, coexist. Perhaps. Until then, I trust the secret of our existence will remain safe with you. You have our word. I only have one request! Name it. Somebody take my picture with Raptor! Why? Are you gonna sell it to the Weekly Weird News? <laughs> nah, it's for my superhero team-up scrapbook. Why? How much do you think they'd give me for it? With you in the picture? A nickel. Maybe less. <laughs> <laughs> Watching over the city, I have learned the sad truth that violence begets violence. They say nobody can break the cycle. That nobody cares. Nobody can do anything about it. Yo, I hear you might have a little something for me. You didn't get this from me, right? Get what? Exactly. Nobody tries to change things. And they're right. Because I'm still nobody. And I do care. Huh? I will try to change things. I will make a difference. Just answer your phone. Huh? Talk to the turtle. Hey, long time no here. Uh-huh. 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 No problem. We'll be there. Who was it? Nobody. Slipping, nobody. That kid almost took you out. I told him to. He's my informant. Goes by the name X-Ray. That performance you'd witnessed was just in case anybody's watching. 
X-rays infiltrated a dangerous new gang called the Turks, but they're beginning to get suspicious. Follow me. <laughs> Follow him, he says. X-rays said the Turks are planning to visit an old man who witnessed their leader trying to wipe out a gang member he thought was an informant. They plan to take care of the old man tonight. If we could stop them, I think we could shut down the whole gang. I know some of these kids. Most of them aren't half bad. It's their leader, this Jenko. I have a plan, but I need extra eyes and ears to cover all the angles. Eyes and ears I can trust. A stakeout! Cool! Donuts and endless pots of cold coffee? Something like that. I'm going to check on the old man. He lives right downstairs. Stay here. I'll be back. Huh? Excuse me, but I'm from Witness Protection. Can I speak with you a moment? Grandpa to green sleeves. Everything is going as planned. One of them is on the move. <laughs> <laughs> Already on it. did good. Real good. Thanks, boss. Alert the police. On it! Where are you, cake freak? I got something for ya! Yeah! What's the matter, big bad hero man? Are you afraid to face me? Waste him! Waste him! Listen to me, all of you. If you follow this punk Jenko, all you're ever going to have is a short life of fear and violence that leads to a toe tag at the city morgue. You know it's true. I can see it in your eyes. But it's not too late. You can choose a different future. You can walk away. Just walk away. What you waiting for? Waste him! It's over, Jenko. Your Turks have wised up. You're on your own. Yeah? Well, I don't need those bunch of losers anyway. You're all going down, because I'm Jenko! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Looks like the only thing between you and my gat is your fancy underwear.
I'm nobody. Well, that's that. I think maybe we've done some real good here today. Without Jenko, those kids stand a real chance at a better life. I'd still like to know who hooked Jenko up with that mini arsenal. So would I. Mikey, you can lose the dress now. Why? Do I look fat in this? Tell the truth now. I can take it. I'm just glad Mikey stopped referring to me as his husband. You think you've got what it takes to be a hero? Well, think again! You punks got invited to come for an interview with the Justice Force. Well, whoopity do! You think that toy of yours makes you a hero, Arrow Boy? <sighs> and you, Moleculo, you shrink. You really think pushing that little button on your belt's gonna help you in a fight, Tiny? Stand up straight, boy. Gauntlet, you think you're special because of those power gloves? You think you can slug it out with supervillains, tough guy? Huh? You think you're ready? Just give me something to fight. Anything. Anyone. I'll show you. The Turtle Titan has arrived! A supervillain attack? You picked the wrong place at the wrong time! Is it the new costume? Seriously, if you're not taking the new threads, I'm open to suggestions! Look, there's been a misunderstanding. We're not here to fight. Oh, Leonardo and Michelangelo. Come to sign up, have you? No! Yes! We're here to talk to the Justice Force about a serious threat. Well then, you young fellas had better go on up. Gee, thanks, ZL! I hate line cutters! Oh, these superheroes today. No, seriously! We've got these mystical abilities now! I got super speed! Whoa! This place is so cool! Ooh, can I sit in a justice chair? Nobody, Raptor, let me be the first to welcome you to the Justice Force. I'll be there if you need me. Your invitation honors me, Sentry. Well, I'll be Turtle Titan. Leonardo, what brings you to the Justice Force? Did you come to sign up? Well, actually... <gasps> no, we've come to warn you about a creature of great evil and power. It calls itself the Shredder. So we get to fight, right? I want to fight! I can handle anything that comes my way. <gasps> Destroyed Justice Force! That's a supervillain? I think I forgot to fill out some membership papers. Must destroy Justice Force! And then we were transported back to New York. The Demon Shredder could be resurrected at any time. He may be here already. The Justice Force will be at your disposal when the time comes. Ah! Wow. So, uh, if you should notice anything weird going on in the city... Uh, I'm noticing something right now! Come on! Come on! Fight! No! Stay back! Must find Justice Force! Destroy Justice Force! You want to take down the Justice Force? You'll have to go through Bowmaster first! Oh, <laughs> 
up, giant robot! The Justice Force is here! <laughs> you gotta admit, Leo, that sounds pretty cool. Right? Talk to it. Talk to Nano. We think he's being controlled. You're right. There's a control chip on one of the nanobots. It's spreading a foreign program through its system. I can sense it, but it's blocking me. The chip will have to be destroyed at the source. But it's nano small. How the shell are we supposed to... to... <laughs> Leo, I so have a plan. Trust me. It better be a quick one. I can't believe I'm doing this. Come on. How hard can it be? Uh. Ananda, look out. Uh. Got it. to finish this fiend. No, it's okay. I've been in communication with him. He doesn't want to fight. He's not evil. Yeah, Nano's a good kid. He just fell in with a bad crowd. He's been manipulated his whole life. But you guys, you could help him. Thank you, Justice Force. And thank you, Turtle Creatures. My programming has evolved much since my previous encounters with you. I apologize for my lack of maturity. That was some good thinking there, Mikey. Way to go. It's just your classic good robot under evil control forced to attack superhero scenario. No biggie. Now, let's talk about my membership. At 
And with the addition of this mysterious nano, the Justice Force completed their membership drive. Nobody. Metalhead, look! The Turtle Titan! Come on! Speaking of which, I have one little question. What's to stop any of us from just eliminating you Terrapins right here and now? Us, for one. Huh? Okay, let's get started. We asked you all here because everything going on in this city, the transformations, the monsters, it's all the work of an ancient, resurrected demon. The original Shredder, from the 4th century AD. His power is growing by the minute. The evil that transformed this city is spreading over the world. The entire world. Whether we like it or not, we're all in this together. What's happening? We're losing. Well, looks like you did it. You turtles saved the world. And I thought that was our job. We all did it. Together. Lady, no one's going sidewalk sushi on my watch. Ah! Easy, miss. Whoa, this guy's good. You're safely under the shell of Turtle Titan. Turtle Titan? Wait, officer, arrest that guy. He ripped off my act. I think we have bigger problems. Grab unit. Oh, 
Thank you, thank you. Other news, Turtle Titan saved the day again. The origins of our beloved superhero are mysterious, but our city rests easier knowing he can be summoned at any time simply by showing his trademark shell signal in the sky. Yes, our Turtle Titan is one of a kind. You signaled, Chief? No, I signaled! Huh? Stunned, right? Don't feel bad. I have that effect on the minds of men. But I don't want you to think I'm mad. I'm willing to forget the whole thing. Just admit you stole my gig in a formal public apology. Who are you? And what's with the cheap knockoff Turtle Titan costume? Who you calling knockoff, knockoff? Now just calm down, citizen. Citizen? Now that's the last hey. straw! Nobody calls me that! What's wrong with citizen? It's only superhero code for loser, which I am not, incidentally. Yeah! <laughs> Who's been mucking about with my shell signal, hmm? Your shell signal? I thought you said Turtle Titan was a grandstanding glory hound vigilante. That's right. A grandstanding glory hound vigilante who happens to make my job much easier. But he's not Turtle Titan. I am. Easy, lads. What's all this? Save you, Chief Constable! Not if I get there first, poser! Yeah! Are you out of your mind? Can't stand the heat? Get out of the shell! Now, if you'll excuse us. Unhand me, you! Sure! Just as soon as I rescue you! Uh, gotta go! Let's get out of here before you cause any more trouble. Wow, you are pretty good. For an imposter. Look, I'm flattered that you want to be a hero like me, and you've shown some raw talent. But you can't just rip off my name and costume. You're accusing me of ripping you off? I'm the Rippy here! Uh, what are you doing? Oh, no! Why on earth did you do that? To level the playing field. Unless you're... What do you want from me, you incredibly annoying citizen? Admit it! Admit you copied me, and I'm the original Turtle Titan! <laughs> nice try, pal. But the original Turtle Titan lived over a hundred years ago. That's me! <laughs> Michelangelo in the green, scaly flesh! Huh? How did you know his name was Michelangelo? The only other person who knew that was... Silver Sentry! Duh! Saved his life back in the day! You... you really are the original... but how? Time travel accident! A hero type thing. Happens all the time. And you? Turtle Titan was just a story I heard from my grandfather. A story that inspired me to don the turtle mask and shield while refining and improving on the original weaponry. That story gave my life purpose. But now that I see what a petty, jealous jerk the original Turtle Titan was, is, I don't want any part of it! Beware, evildoers! For it is I, Turtle Titan! And, uh, the superhero formerly known as Turtle Titan! Triple threat, meet double trouble! 
wait. These are superheroes. And if we want to be super villains, what do we need to do? Huh? huh? See for yourselves. Oh. <laughs> I changed my mind. You can be Turtle Titan after all. Let's tear them apart! Nah, let's hold them hostage and extort tons of credit from the city! Let's hollow them out and use them as matching salt and pepper shakers! <laughs> Normally, I would rock it out of these situations, but somebody had to level the playing field. <laughs> Can't let that one go, huh? No matter. <laughs> On my signal, go! Uh, that was effective. Hey, wait a sec! You want a piece of us, Lane Brains? Come and get us! What are you doing? Zero gravity engaged. Why on earth did you do that? To level the playing field. But in a good way this time. Give it up for the OTT, the original Turtle Titan! <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you! Michelangelo, fall back! A Turtle Titan never falls back! Oh, and way to blow the secret identity! Yes! Titan's supposed to be more the disappear into the night type? Milk it a little more, dude. Everyone needs a hero. Well, one baddie bagged, which leaves two Titans to talk. Only, can we skip the fighting part and just get to the yelling? I'm whipped. Same here. Hey, I never got a chance to thank you before. For being an inspiration to millions? No big. No, for saving my grandfather's life. Uh. Uh. I think you knew him. His name was... Silver Sentry? No way! It's true, Michelangelo. You see... I inherited my grandfather's passion for justice. His looks, too. But unfortunately not his powers. Still, I was so inspired by his stories of the Turtle Titan fighting crime without any superpowers that I wanted to carry on your legacy. But there's only one Turtle Titan. Not anymore. You're the real deal. And you've done me and your grandfather both proud. Thank you. How about one quick patrol before we call it a night? No thanks. This mild-mannered turtle has had enough superheroing to last another hundred years. Keep up the good work, citizen! Citizen?
is it, King Blunder? Your days of do-gooding are at an end. Never, you techno-clad fiend! The power of my mantle will always pierce the darkness of evil! It is you who will lose this day, Mechazar! I think not! Please have your tickets out and form a single file line. Oh! Hey! Now! Hey. Let's keep it orderly, people. Nice and orderly. But, oh well, if it's not for sale, I guess I'll just have to take it! No! My reputation precedes me. <clears throat> oh, hi, Justice Force. Good to see you again, Turtle Titan. Raptar, get that man to a hospital. Hang tight, old timer. We were making an appearance at the convention when we heard the explosions. It looked like you were holding your own against Malignus. Impressive. I have my moments. Yeah, yeah, big deal. I've taken on Malignus myself. Remember when I saved you from his mind-controlling nanobots, SS? Sure I do. But Malignus is much more powerful now than he was back then. Clearly your brother has some moves. Hmm. Of course he does. Ah! Oh, oh! He's Tortoise Boy, the Turtle Titan's ever-allegiant sidekick. I taught him everything he knows. Did you teach him that? Huh? Rath, you get taller. Clearly, the cape has transformative powers. Tell me something I don't know. That's ten tons of hydraulic pressure, and you've barely broken a sweat. Raise the pressure another ten percent, Ananda. do I gotta go through these tests? Long enough for us to determine the full scope of the cave's powers. So far, they seem limitless. <clears throat> but where could something so powerful have come from? That's easy, Sonny. Outer space. That's the cape of the Green Mantle. Zippy lad? Stainless Steve Steel? The Green who? Not surprised you've never heard of him, Tsunami. <laughs> Old GM was before your time, but he was one of the greats. You betcha. A titan among titans, a hero among heroes, and a singular human chosen by an alien tailor to receive a rare and special gift, a super-powered cape. With this gift, he chose to become Earth's defender until the day when his arch-foe Mechazar got the better of him. The green mantle fell, slipping back into obscurity, never to be heard from again. But it looks like you've picked up his mantle, son. And if you ask me, it suits you. How about it? Up for being the new green mantle? Uh, hmm. Why not? What? No way! Give me the cape! He's no superhero! Don't worry, Mikey. If you want, you can be my sidekick. lame -o lad What's troubling you, Sentry? Malignus. He's not easily deterred. He tried for the cape once. He'll try again. <laughs> this is Channel 6 News reporting that the Justice Force has just announced a new member in their ranks. The new Green Mantle. Justice Force, go! And off they go in their never-ending battle for 
Just joined the team this morning, Mantle. You're an inspiration to us all. Hey, just doing my job. Night now. You really want to give it up? I'm sure it can be repaired. Thanks, but it's not that. I ain't really the superhero type. And Turtle Titan is hero enough for me. I'll take it then. The old girl used to be mine, after all. Gentlemen, meet Al Gordon, the original Green Mantle. The guard from the convention? No way! Been years since anyone has called me the Green Mantle. But once upon a time, it was true. Al contacted me as soon as he came to at the hospital. I'd given up hope of ever finding this. Spent 25 years on the police force, retired and took on this security gig. Protecting the public is just in my blood. Turns out, you don't need superpowers to fight crime in this world. Of course, they don't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the odds are of us getting through this? Statistically speaking, dead. Yeah? Well, I'd say they just got a little bit better. Look! It's the Justice Force! Sorry we're late. Congratulations from all of us. Now then, let's not let a few bad apples ruin all the fun. I believe there's a wedding to be had. Yes, but perhaps outside. And so, by the powers vested in me by Planet Dunib, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you, Casey Jones, and you, April O'Neil, man and wife. You may kiss the bride.